Good morning, good afternoon everyone, wherever you may be joining us. My name is Peter Arvo and I will be guiding you through this short audio video lecture on the Trinity Time Domains Chart, a possible 3R1 Trinity solution for the Torchbearer series. Ideally, you should have already viewed the three-part core lectures that begin with the B501 designation. This lecture also has a corresponding page briefing of the same name. We will skip past this information regarding copyrights and information on possible college credit and certification in the Torchbearer series material, but if you would like more information, please visit the website www.thetorchbearerseries.com. Also if possible, visit the website to check if there is a more recent version of this audio video lecture and related page briefing documents. From the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, we read, quote, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. End quote. In Genesis 1, 1, we read, quote, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. End quote. Continuing in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, we read, quote, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. End quote. In Genesis 1.16 we read, quote, And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. End quote. In John chapter 1 verse 14 we read, quote, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. End quote. These three states of existence for God are also a representation of the Trinity time domains. But what is time and how can it perhaps clarify our understanding of the three R1 Trinity? Time, as defined by dictionary.com, one, the system of those sequential relationships that any event has to any other, as past, present, or future, and definite and continuous duration regarded as that in which events succeed one another. 2. Duration regarded as belonging to the present life as distinct from the life to come or from eternity, finite duration. In other words, time is not a material substance. It is a sequence of changes in one thing as compared to changes in another thing. If time does not exist, then changes between two or more things do not occur. What we think we know about Trinity time domains within the Bible, God is 3 R1, and thus is described in terms of a Trinity. There is only one true God as described in the Bible. Please note that although most describe God as 3 in 1, the description 3 are 1 is more accurate. For example, saying that there are only 3 members in one company has a very different meaning than saying me, myself, and I are the only members in one company. A partial solution to the problems that arise when using the 3 in 1 terminology is to switch and use the 3 R1 terminology. God the Father is outside time because he is outside the universe. Quote, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. End quote. Psalm chapter 90 verse 2. Quote, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. End quote. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. And quote, No man hath seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. End quote. John chapter 1 verse 18. Also John chapter 6 verse 46. And yet we read of Abraham, quote, And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. End quote. Genesis chapter 18 verse 1. 
we will reconcile these things shortly god the son is within time and grows from a child to a man matthew one twenty three matthew two eleven luke two forty through fifty two hebrews four fifteen he even has what appears to be self-imposed limits on himself with not knowing when he will return matthew twenty four thirty six mark thirteen thirty two and has other things revealed to him by god the father see revelation one one god the holy ghost it appears that he is within time for he is sent and goes from one place to another Quote, but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you End quote. john fourteen twenty six also genesis one two six three keep in mind that jesus is filled with the holy ghost luke four one and yet jesus did not know all things but only the father does matthew twenty four thirty six mark thirteen thirty two revelation one one the holy ghost quote, itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered end quote. romans eight twenty six also see romans eight twenty seven we are not going to go over this chart since we have already went over the importance of its contents within the three-part core lecture series but it is important enough to mention again here in that the trinity concept is real and that jesus is all three persons of the trinity and is god which you can see by the overlapping titles and attributes of the father the son and the holy ghost the following are two different ways of thinking of the trinity so that the three are one concept doesn't become a stumbling block to you please keep in mind that the reality is probably different than either of the following examples presented and is probably more than we can comprehend the first example is the biblical choose your own adventure scenario god the father is like the master author whose long-term plot is contained within the whole bible which has a beginning the book of genesis and an end the book of revelation plus key bits of information throughout the bible about the beginning and the end god the son is who we see in experience when god the father enters into his own story with the physical universe and time being like pages in his book the holy ghost is god flowing through the pages of his book as the unseen one who suggests edits making intercession for the saints romans eight twenty six through twenty seven god the son is in the universe and within time within the book and so it makes sense that he could have limits on what he knows and can speak to himself god the father who is outside of the book outside of the universe and time at the time of lord jesus christ's baptism by john the baptist you have all three mentioned god the father jesus outside time and physical space god the son jesus inside time and space and god the holy ghost jesus inside time and space as the unseen intercessor and comforter matthew three sixteen through seventeen the second example is the biblical time traveler scenario consider you are a fictional character named marty and you travel back in time to inform your past self about future events much like god the father jesus having a conversation with god the son also jesus about future events Quote, but of that day and that hour knoweth no man no not the angels which are in heaven neither the son but the father End quote. mark thirteen thirty two this verse clarifies that god the son and the angels in the heavenly realm are not outside time remember time is just a changing sequence of events and only god the father is outside time quote, the revelation of jesus christ which god the father 
gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant john End quote. revelation one one note just because there are events that change does not mean that entropy otherwise known as decay exists in heaven only that change time occurs the biblical time traveler scenario could be possible for god the father jesus who resides outside the physical universe and appears to be even a step beyond heaven but it is not possible for marty bill ted or anyone else who is within the physical universe this is because we know that time is not a thing or a place and is instead a sequence of events a person would need to reverse the small motion of atoms and large-scale events in the entire universe to reverse time while simultaneously keeping himself and his time machine unchanged god could of course take and place a biblical character anywhere and any time within the past present or future see john's experience in revelation chapter four verses one through two god has also been known to rapture people from the earth like enoch genesis chapter five verse twenty four and elijah second kings chapter two verses eleven through twelve hopefully this short lecture has helped you to understand how the trinity concept as three r one can be understood if you haven't done so already your next step is to view the first of the three core lectures called the Torchbearer Series, Suppressed Manuscript History, Core Course B501, Session 1 of 3. The information contained in the Core Series is the result of thousands of hours of research containing around 700 references cited, and is designed with the intent of being a streamlined method to present evidence and information to dramatically increase your faith trust and love for god and his ways session one covers manuscript basics and tempus absumo to the reliability of text and b raid as well as additional information you may not have ever known before until next time take care and god bless